Hey everyone, Digital Scriptorium here, and today I just want to do a very quick video showing off how to force upgrade a Windows 11 24H2 device to the latest build, or at least latest build as of 2025, to the Windows 11 25H2 build. Now there's not anything too extreme with this whole upgrade in regards to new features and whatnot. I'll have a link in the description below for what's new in 25H2 over 24H2. And the enablement links that I show off, I will also have in the description below as well. Anyhow, before I begin, I just want to mention that if you are feeling generous to think about donating to support my channel on either Ko-Fi or Patreon, every bit goes right back into making new guides. Anyhow, let's jump into it now. So the first thing that we want to do is make sure that you are on version 24H2 before making this jump, at least with the method that I'm going to show. So let's go down to start and then type in about, hit enter, and then scroll down a little bit. And then this is the section we want to look at the Windows specifications. So look at your version and the number. So in my case, mine is 24H2. So we are ready to rock and roll at least as far as the build version goes. One thing also to mention is that that 25H2 is out for all of the editions of Windows 11. So whether it's Windows 11 Home, Pro, Student, Enterprise, etc. So just wanted to throw that out there. So the next thing we want to do is just double check that we have the latest and greatest Windows updates. Technically speaking, as long as you have the, the September 2025 cumulative update, then you're good to go. So let's just check. We'll go to Windows Update on the left hand side. Let's do a check for updates just to make sure that we have everything we need. One thing to note is mine has the get the latest updates as soon as they're available turned on. You do not need this turned on. Now one of the reasons as to why we are checking for the updates as well is to see if our machine is already enabled to actually take the 25H2 upgrade directly through Windows updates. Mine is not, however yours may show up with something that looks like this where it actually shows that you're up to date however it shows the windows 11 version 25 h2 is available you can just click download and install and then once it's ready reboot your machine and then you'll have 25 h2 after that however for the sake of my machine it is not enabled yet by microsoft to actually take it so we're going to go ahead and force the upgrade which is utilizing a package from the microsoft updates catalog so i'll close out of this here so as I'd mentioned, I will have these links in the description below. So there's the x86 slash x64 variant, aka this would be if you have an Intel or AMD based machine, then you would download this variant. If you have an ARM64, aka an ARM Windows on ARM or like, or a machine that would be like running like the Snapdragon, or maybe you are an Apple user who has a Windows on ARM virtual machine or something, then you can utilize this download. The thing about these files is that they are both incredibly small. The thing with an enablement package is that technically speaking, the files exist on the machine already. They just have to be woken up with this enablement package, which is pretty snazzy in the grand scheme of things. Anyhow, in my case, my machine is an Intel based machine. So I'm going to choose the x86 slash x64 variant. Now, if you're unsure on which option you should actually choose, we can go back to start and type in about again, hit enter, and then take a look at the system type. So in my case, it says x64 based processor. So in that case, we choose the x86 slash x64 variant. So I'm going to just highlight this. I'll copy it, open it up in the web browser if you're choosing, paste it right in, hit enter. And then it's literally just a 171 kilobyte file. So this is incredibly tiny and we'll just wait for it to say it is done downloading. Let me just do show and folder and we can close out of the browser. And I do recommend you close out of everything else on the machine. Make sure that nothing else is running. No tasks are running in the background. Just so that this is a clean slate. The key thing just to keep in mind is that once we kick this off, it's going to prompt us to reboot the machine in which case I do recommend you reboot right away. So let's go through that process right now. And I just went ahead and adjusted the screen just so you can easily see kind of the stuff that we're gonna go through once it reboots and whatnot. Anyhow, let's double click on it. And then if all goes well, it should say, do you wanna install the following Windows software update? It's gonna mention the KB number. And then we can click yes for this. 
and then it shouldn't take very long to install because it's so tiny. And then let me just close out of the downloads folder before we hit restart now, and then let's hit restart now. So it's basically gonna say updates are underway, please keep your computer on, and then it should start loading back up for us. And then once again, it'll say updates are underway, and it really shouldn't take very long. And then let's go ahead and log back in. Once you're logged in, let's double check that the build version actually did change. So go down to the start menu, type in about again, hit enter, and then we will scroll down. And here we are, version 25H2, so this is good to go. One thing I would also recommend is that once you've made the jump to 25H2, do another check for Windows updates, because there are updates related specifically to this build that are just good to get out of the way. So any sort of bug fixes and security patches and whatnot to keep things nice and stable for you. So anyhow, that's all you need to do to download and install the Windows 11 25H2 update. If you found this video to be useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't already taken a look at other videos on my channel, I invite you to take a peek at them. There's many interesting guides and many more to come. Anyhow, until next time, take it easy.